Today we're going to upgrade our uh, Volkswagen e-golf speakers. The original speaker sounds okay, but uh, definitely not to the uh, hi-fi standard. So this is the upgraded um, Dynaudio midwoofer. So I'm going to replace this one. Um, ideally, you should replace the amplifier in the car as well. But um, because the amplifier used the uh, Pioneer 50 watts MOSFET amp, we should be okay for this particular load. So I will just keep that part, make it a little bit easier to upgrade. So these woofers, there's a problem with them. Let's flip it over, you can see it. Dyn Audio, by the way. <clears throat> so the problem is that the design, basically they have this plastic molded frame. However, the internal structure are steel or magnet, so the thermal expansion coefficient are different between the plastic and the metal and which causes a lot of cracks on these housing. You can still see some of the hairline here and there, but mostly occur on here, especially the where the screws are located, very highly stressed uh, in summer. Probably the worst case is in winter because the plastic become uh, uh, crispier. Um, that's why you can get these woofers relatively cheap on eBay. I got them like a $30 a piece. Originally they are more like a hundred dollar, over a hundred dollar a piece. Um, the way I repair it, or we shouldn't say repair because they're not damaged or anyhow. The way I reinforce it, I use a copper ring and put glue at the interface between the ring and the plastic and then find a slightly longer screw to hold down this copper ring against the uh, plastic housing. So they will, this will make sure that everything um, very strongly enforced. Um, we won't have any problem, you know, after we put it on. <clears throat> so it's very high quality and this coupling will also help to short some of the uh, electromagnetic uh, leakage and so on and so forth. So this is a, a good stuff you can do. Dyn Audio 2 ohm. Okay, let's go.